We've always tried to inspire the next generation of young people to work with their hands. And along the way, we've found some unexpected allies in that endeavor. And one of them is a NASA astronaut who has made it to the International Space Station on two missions, Captain Mike Foreman. Captain Foreman, nice to meet you. Great to meet you, Kevin. Thanks Pleasure for coming to up. be here. Yeah, well, we're glad to have you. Well, it's uh, been a dream of mine to come and meet you on this show. Some for a guy who's been to space, that says something, so we appreciate that. Um, you always wanted to be an astronaut? I wanted to be an astronaut since I was eight years old growing up in Ohio, and uh, I set my goal to become a naval aviator. I did that. I became a Navy pilot, a test pilot, wow. and then went on to NASA. And After eight attempts at applying to NASA, I... It took eight applications. Wow. Right, for me, some people uh, make it a little bit quicker, and one application, I went the harder route with eight, eight applications, and finally got selected. So one of my messages to the kids today is persevere, don't sure. don't give up when you have a goal, go for it, keep go working. It. Might get you into space. All Might right. get you into space. So it's a little difficult to imagine sort of an astronaut as a tool guy, but I mean you guys actually use these things all the time. Right, I grew up a kind of a tool guy, hanging around my dad. He was uh, had a hobby, carpentry was his hobby, Great. and I, I worked with him in the basement doing some projects and I continued uh, with the tools, mm -hmm. you know, growing up, continue to work in my garage and uh, it's a great skill applicable to being an astronaut because NASA likes guys that know how to work with their hands too. I bet they do because I mean look at some of the tools you got. These are what you guys have used on the International Space Station. You brought them to us. What are they? Well, we got a very basic uh, ratchet wrench here. Nothing too exciting except it was designed to go into space. Uh, 7 sixteenths ratchet. Everything on the space station basically is 7 sixteenths, so we don't have to go to the tool bag sure. for different set sizes of ratchets. Everything is tethered, including myself. We're floating out there. We're weightless right. in space, so yeah. we got to make sure everything stays with us. Wow, so literally just a hand ratchet as you guys are right. repairing or adding on to yeah. the space station. And then here's the big guy. This is a pistol grip tool. We call it PGT, and this thing is basically a power bolt driver. You can grab hold of it. In space, it's weightless. Here, it weighs close to 20 pounds, oh, I think. Oh, sure it does, right? So hefty. This is one tool that Tommy and Norm don't have. Right, yes, I'm that gonna is make sure I have to leave with that also. That, okay, that is remarkable. And I love the fact just, I mean, ultimately just 7 16 you guys are bolting and unbolting things to the space station. Right, we're working on the out, outside of the space station and my two shuttle missions, they were both assembly missions, so yeah. that was back when we were building the space station. Now the guys up there are maintaining the space station primarily, so when something fails, they right. put on the suits, they go outside, fix it, replace a box with the same bolt driver, unbolt the box, put the replacement in, fix it. So persistence helps you get there, but once you're there, this, um, I don't know, you grew up with the tools, maybe a mechanically inclined right. mind. Does that help? Exactly. Is that essential? Well, I think it's essential for an astronaut to have a technical background. My, my degrees are in engineering, so mm -hmm. I have an engineering background, but you know, uh, NASA is looking for people that can work with their hands also and sure. that's another message to kids today is that you know pick up a skill you know you might be going to college but be able to do something with your hands as well work on your car build something in the garage right that's tremendous did you think um, when you were I don't know working with your dad in the garage as a small boy maybe picking up um, his screw gun that you might be doing similar things in outer space well I had that dream but uh, Frankly, I was doubtful that it would ever happen for me, but I just hung in there and lucked Correct. out. Well, we appreciate you uh, bringing the tools, uh, joining us. We appreciate your service as well, so thank you for coming. Thanks, Kevin. Pleasure.